Hey, you guys. So I pulled out it's for Libra, Leo, and Capricorn Achieve. And I'm going to pull out some messages for you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I appreciate you very, very much. And I hope I can give you a message today that will help you. Let me, let me pull out some stuff and I'm going to read it to you. Hang on, let me put it up here. My nose is itching off, so something's true now. Something's true. It, it won't stop itching now. What is it, Spirit? What, why won't my nose stop itching? Oh, 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 I love you, Spirit. You're so fun. Spirit's so fun. -f 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 -fun. He knows it. Oh, yeah. What on her? Uh, do the right thing. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. And what about this man? No, you just get it. Oh, 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 okay. And the government is seeing you're protected. That one. Oh, okay, okay. You're highly protected by the vine. I love you, spirit, so very, 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 very much. Spirit, is there any cards in here under highly protected, or do I need another deck? Spirit, throw it on my hand, see? Ooh. Oh, oh, that's what it is. Okay, so right now it's saying, um, You've learned to tap into your divine mind, and that's when you get downloads from source and infinite spiritual knowledge. See my little alpha alpha card? I told you it'd come out. There it is, you guys, you new people. So you've been seeing a lot of number formations, and uh, and uh, maybe you're, when you were seeing them numbers, it was steering you from making bad decisions. Yeah, because it says remember your bad decisions will come back and bite you in the ice when you least expect it to happen. So do the right thing first. Them numbers guide you to do the right thing first. Oh, I love you and and I'm glad y'all did that. Woo! And it said this man knew that you were gifted and they just wanted to ruin anything that you was tied to now. Did you see that? So spirit steered you away from being tied to that person and the government is seeing that uh, they're seeing this right now, and they know that people was spying and gawking at you, but but they see uh, you're a new being that's strong and that you're very highly protected. The government sees it. Are you listening? They know it. They know it. And, oh, and look, you're seeing these numbers because success comes when you least expect it to. You'll be like, what? And you'll be a success, and you're like, wow, I thank you for that, Spirit. That's what it said. Your numbers, okay? And, um, sorry. All it said is success will come when you least expect it on your numbers, but, um, something about real estate. Maybe somebody had made a bad decision about something about real estate. I don't know you all. I, you'll have to tell me about that. Uh, uh, and this man knew maybe, uh, they wanted to ruin you, this person in real estate, man or woman. And uh, they can't stop thinking of you. They love you, and they have to have you. So this person, whoever's in real estate, they love you, but the government seen who the hit man won't prevail. Uh, so, you know, the government knows that they sent somebody around you. Somebody did. And they, they also know that... Uh, you're telling the fucking truth when you was born, and I was warned of it. And no, and I know when my spirit team helps me, and I love you, spirit teams, and my brother, I love you. And and you're someone who is going through a spiritual awakening, or you already did, and you're you're feeling connected with others at the moment, you know, and you have overwhelming appreciation for all the things in your life. And I do, you guys, I do have that, you know, and uh. Sometimes you might act spontaneously rather than from fears of past experience. You'll just act spontaneously. Yeah, and I guess the government's seen that part. That's what it's trying to say. What else for infinite divine knowledge? What else? What else? Someone wanted to test your weaknesses and strengths, and even us seekers of truth have two choices, give up or keep on going. The choice is yours. That's what you did. You you took a chance on yourself, and 
fallen angel signs and and uh they hate you because you're sober now it's somebody in real estate or they owned a lot of properties they owned a lot of property you was somehow tied to them uh and this man knew you was gifted and wanted to ruin anything that you was tied to what about that spirit do i need a new deck what twist the story changed how the story changed spirit what do you mean how the story changed spirit oh somebody is doing background checks on you and your person because they was just nosy as hell and are too invested in your business way too much so you sniffed out that this is why the story changed because you sniffed out that uh, this person might have just wanted to ruin you. You sniffed it out. You sniffed it out, plot twist. <laughs> don't you guys love spirits, you guys? Now, I don't know who this is for, but it's for somebody. Oh, and the government sees you ain't want to be play with now, and they know that. They know that uh, you're talking to people and telling them that you you suggest to them that they need to get off meth and, and clean their damn self up. That's why I need to wake up, come up right, come out right up there. You're, you're trying to wake up these father and angel-like mothers to wake up and do the damn right thing. Don't be tricksters, yeah, yeah. Be an advocate and show everybody that you can rise above any challenges. That's how you're balanced, you understand, and they know that. And they know that you and somebody that you might have been married to in a past life, y'all have known each other before, they know that you and that person, this divine soulmate, that's the way I'm reading this, okay? I'm talking about from an old life. They know that you all are safe and connected. Are you listening? And y'all going to be together in this life, too. Are you listening? Oh, and, and, and uh, over here, you start choosing wisely with who you give your time and energy to. You start putting it on yourself. You start focusing. Start focusing. And and you start being grateful for all the little things and, and all things so that you could thrive in life. You were smart. You know, and, and, and oh, and, and whoever might be uh, sniffing around doing background checks, this is, man that wants to be tied to you they love you and it's your friend and your friend wants to give you some roses did you hear that now now they love it you say yes now what else about that what else what else oh but somebody that did uh math Or, I mean, you could have did math, you know. I've talked to it. It was so stupid. And maybe somebody wanted you to have a threesome. And you was like, no, no, no. And you didn't have a threesome. Or this friend was trying to get you to have a threesome. You see what I'm saying? And hit me and won't prevail. What it said? Whoever it was, they just, uh, they just want to do anything you do. That's what that's saying. They don't have no gumption. It was a, it might have been a meth head. They're a vamp. They, they, they only wanted you for your high energy. They only wanted you for your high energy. It could be somebody that you're tied to from a past relationship you need to leave as a fucking vamp. And, and they're a trickster and, and, and the vine is protecting you from this son of a person. And a good person will let you have something that you're in need of and not ask you for anything in return. That's what I'm trying to tell people. I am grateful. I am that. I am that. And, uh, yeah, go outside and put your feet in the grass and just rub around and say, oh, that feels so good and I love it and I appreciate it. Oh, wow, that's what you need to do now, I'm telling you. But somebody, they don't know how to communicate to you. Uh... Maybe you was playing peacekeeper in your family because these people don't know how to talk to you or communicate like you, or they don't give the same love like you do, and they took you for granted. If you can't take the heat, stay out of the kitchen, you know, uh, it. they can say things about you, but they can't take it if you say things to them, and it, it could be whoever this tough car buyer is of yours out here, you know it. 
somebody's wanting to fight for you. It could be his friends wanting to fight for you now, and they're, they don't know how to speak. This friend that wants to give you some roses that loves you, they they don't know how to spill the truth. They don't know how. And you're telling them to go outside, feel into it, and you'll know because your spirit guides will tell you. Pay attention to the signs, any fucking sign. Oh, and Divine Masculine wants to bring you a gift. He's got a ring for you and praying that you'll accept it and become his wife for, uh, forever. It's him, marry me, Divine Feminine. Somebody out here wants to marry you, Divine Feminine. But you've been playing peacekeeper in the family, it said. But what they're seeing is you're rising up to become a success, so you know what that means. You're showing others the way to success and how to do it. Thank you for that, Spirit. And you helped to heal many people out here, and they still chose to spread lies. Uh, oh, excuse me. Spiritual burp, it was the truth, and said you're an addict. Like you was like a meth head, and you wasn't. Maybe you just got around these fucking idiots, and somebody has sent them towards your way, and then you you started, you did it a little bit, and then you was like, no, I don't want to do it no more. No, I don't want to do it no more. And that's, you know, that's what you did. You got back off of it, and you're like, leave me fuck alone. But actually, they was the true druggies, and, and you kept saying to them, stop doing coke and drugs, these people. They took you for granted, because they went around lying and saying it was you, and they know it was them, and they was vamping your energy. And you're somebody whose love is purely comfort to this person. They never had felt love, a pure true love, like, like it was. And this friend wants to build a comfortable life with you. It's Divine Masculine. Are you listening? Maybe he's rising up too in the community. Oh wow, look why I look. Oh wow, I love you, Spirit. Don't stop believing. Hold on to the feeling. Street lights, people. Oh, oh, oh. Remember the journey by journey. See? Oh, that's what you're doing. You're just singing and you're having a fun time. And Bob Maxwell's going to come fight for you, bye bye. He's going to fight this low down, low life piece of shit work for a darn sure piece of crap that don't care. He just wants to keep a strong arm over you now. And he said he's tired of it. He's tired of it because he's a good fucking pretender. See how spirit tells, don't you love? Oh, that yeah, good pretender is a hypocrite. They're false bees. And they will become our political leaders and our priests that we follow religiously. Uh, but no, these people have double lives. They, they are a wife beater, cheater, molester, and con men. They're very cunning people. And they choose to dominate humanity. Are you listening? And they have subtle ways of uh, humiliating you and make you feel guilty, you know, and, and feel like unworthy and just make you feel like, feel like a big pile of piece of crap shit. And sometimes they might make you even want to kill yourself. That's crazy, ain't it? No, I don't want to follow that person, do you? They want to be our big political leaders, it says. See, they good pretenders. They good pretenders. They vamps. That's why. Vamps. Vamps. Oh, and all they want to do is fight, fight. They want to put them boxing gloves on. Ding, 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 ding. Get in a fight. Get in it. They want to go a uh, boxing or what is that called? MMA. They want to do MMA. And you know what? People <laughs> at my job, somebody's like, damn, you're in MMA, ain't you? I said, yeah, you better watch. I'm the scariest motherfucker you ever seen. And I said, I used to whoop the fuck out of them bitches. <laughs> and, uh, and they believe me. I was like, no, I'm joking. Who told you all that? They must have thought I'd been a beautiful MMA fighter, and they know that I could kick some fucking ass. That's what it was. Them people I worked with, they asked me that one day. <laughs> uh, but I, they said I told it. I said, well, hell, I must have been bullshitting to you all, and y'all believed it. <laughs> oh, but whoever it is that wanted to hold on tight, they're a good pretender, and they from your past. They on their way to jail or prison for messing with you. Now, are you listening? Whoever it is that wanted to fight with you, it could have been somebody in, a commute, in your community. And they hired a hitman to take you out. Because they didn't like that you was a, a peacekeeper in your family. And there was some trickster attached to maybe this person that had a stronghold over you. Are you listening? That's what it was. Oh, and it could have been a, a Sagittarius had a strong arm over somebody like this. 
like you could have worked with him. This could have been your friend or something, but uh, one of your other buddies. But you're faking those mountains. You're balanced and ready to love. But look on the bottom. There's a psychopath following you around. So that's Sagittarius. So it's a psycho. He wants to give you a big teddy bear hug. Are you listening? Look here how it says. Oh, and, and the law's watching them. They got a warrant out for the arrest. And we're trying to have you murdered, attacked, or R-word. Just because you're a chosen one. R-word. R-A. See it right there? Just because you're a chosen one. So it's, this person wanted, and, and they're trying to uh, get to you in your dreams. They're trying to connect to you in your dreams. This has come out in my readings before. And I know that that's what their down sign was right there. I know it. Many months ago, and there's somebody that does this to their partner, physical, mental, and psychological. This is somebody older I'm talking about. Not nobody young, so don't think that it is. Oh, wow, well, and they're a cowboy. They're a cowboy now. Are you listening? But a real man tends to his own herd. He goes out and makes it all on his own. And that's a quote by me, Pamela. Now, are you listening? That's what a real man does. Ooh, I love a real man, baby, don't you? Oh, God, and somebody loves you to the moon and back. And they always did love you. Now, are you listening? That's your true, true baby. They know what this person tried to have you attacked. Oh God, and when the universe has sent a person into your life, you need to trust and have faith that it will all manifest for you both at the right time. And then you all gonna get in that bed right there and you're gonna lay your heads on your pillows and you all gonna make love. Oh God, you're gonna make love in the moonlight. It's gonna be the best love you ever had. And see how shooting stars, it's gonna look like that sight, that card I got that says twin high five twin flame journey. That's what it's gonna be. And it's gonna be, oh God, it's gonna be off the charts. That's your true true that knows what these people did to you. That's your true true that knows it. They, they, and your person knows that they, these people was dealing with uh, witches and warlocks and they was stopping you from moving towards him. Ha <laughs> ha, but laugh about it, laugh about it, ha ha, because they still love you. Ha ha, you're all still moving towards each other. And uh, ha ha, it was uh, people that didn't agree with you because you're a spiritualist, so they targeted you. Ha ha, it couldn't help, they still love you, it did not stop your love. Ha ha, it didn't. And, and you're going through a total metamorphosis at this time. Oh, wow. You went from a tadpole to a frog, baby. You're hopping right over. You're hopping right over the moon, you know. Oh, God, you're all hopping right into the bed to get to loving each other. And when y'all go in our love, you're going to laugh. You're going to... <laughs> Me and my old man, he's like, you're crazy, woman. I tell you some good stuff, buddy, sometimes now at bedtime. Now, are you listening? Oh, God, I know who it is. I know who it is. Oh, I know who it is. Now, listen. When your heart feels heavy and you feel lost, know that you're going through the dark night of the soul because you're heavy and burdened with guilt. Your heart is guilty and thousand pounded because you got a lot... Oh, God, you got a lot of guilt for loving this person. And it, and it was a Taurus man, wasn't it? It was a Taurus out here for some woman now. Listen, and, and uh, it's Taurus. They was too focused on their money, and they wasn't focused on true love, and that's what it was. And and, uh, and maybe this man only wanted you to keep staying brokenhearted over him, and he didn't care if you was happy or not. He just wanted to keep you trapped up with him until one of you died. Are you listening? So it's... They just wanted to keep hanging on to breaking your heart. They just wanted to keep hanging on to it. They didn't want to uh, go through that dark night nice soul like you did because they was too scared to face their truth. Because that person did really want you and, and, and they, they shouldn't have done that to you. You know what I mean? They feel bad about it. Let me get some cards. What about this man that's about broken hearted? Uh, he knows uh, if you got a clear conscience and a clean heart, sometimes other people will say that you're a liar and, and they won't trust you. And it's all the simple fact because uh, they they uh, have trust issues that is on the inside of their self. That's why. And he knows that. You taught him that. He taught him that you're teaching him to clean up his conscience. Are you listening? Thank you for it, Spirit. 
Oh, guys, and someone is getting ready to move on to bigger and better things. It's going to help lots and lots of people now. Maybe you woke up this divine mask one of yours. Somebody out here, are you listening? And, and, uh, and you're a person that is stable, and the haters will always try to throw you off your pipe out here. Yeah, listen, to you girls, it's true now. And, uh, Oh, I know who it was wanting you to stay broken hearted is a Capricorn. That's why it's come out. You, and you was needing to push forward towards your goals and stop being negative. And that's what you did if you're somebody like me. Hey, I push towards my goals. I do it daily. I do it diligently daily. And I have all this in me. Yeah, I do. Oh, and if you got a clear conscience and a clean heart, they, they, they get mad at you and, uh, and you're just teaching these people that they need to learn how to voice their opinion, their own opinion. And everybody has a voice, and you need to open up and be more vocal about what you want and learn to go get what you want. Let it flow naturally. Things that's on the inside of you, just let it flow naturally, babes. It'll be okay. And what else? And uh, this Taurus knows that he just wanted you to chase him all over the downtown, but he knows he run from you now because maybe he was going through the dark night of soul, and he knows that now. Oh, and at Christmas, he's seen you at Christmas. I don't know if you've seen him, but he's seen you at Christmas, and he knows that at Christmas, this Christmas, 22, that upgrades is coming into your life, you, and you got, will receive upgrades. And I tell you what, in your spirituality, only after you speak the truth to the people who stop any upgrades. And I know this is coming to me because I've been speaking my truth to about people what stop in my journey. If you listen to my channel every day, you hear, you hear it, you guys, you hear it. Um, let me see. I don't know what to read to you all. get some of these cards we might have seen them i don't know we'll just have to look we'll just have to see Shit. oh i forgot to tell you what was underneath our all it basically was saying, you're like an angel. You're helping some father out here uh, go, to learn to go inside and quit ch trauma bonding over past hurts that we need to clean up our conscience, you know, and tell our past, tell past wrongs that we've done. That's what that means. That's why I wrote that, okay? And clean out that negative energy. But they was tricking you. That's what it was. They was tricking you. And, and over here, who it was is... It's a student that comes and listens to you. Uh, they got a lot of childhood wounds. It's a man uh, or a woman, and they want to rebel at the moment. Uh, they want, uh, they, they are rejecting legitimate authority out of anger, and they repel out of peer pressure. Are you listening? This could be a younger person who is a kitchen witch. And uh, they're fucking with them bones. They, because they're bullies. Now, did you hear that? That's what it's saying now. I ain't gonna get any of these, you all. I, I don't get enough messages. I need to get in bed. I'm tired. It's, it's 10 o'clock. I'm gonna do a reading at night, so because you all seem to like them, okay? And I like going to bed, and my old man ain't here at night when he's on, when he's on eating shift. And, I wish he was. I, I walk in the you know it. All right, that's enough messages. United we stand, divided we fall. Boy, ain't that true. Boy, ain't that true. In a relationship, in a lot of things in our life, we all need to stand united.
hang on with you guys. Now, I don't know what comes out, but something is. Oh, now listen to this. Remember, it was talking about past life earlier, wasn't it? Didn't it seem like we said something about past lives? Yeah. The Remember, the angels was protecting you. Past life relationship. You've known each other before. Uh, you're, you're, uh, oh gosh, this is crazy. Your deceased son is here warning you to pay attention to your surroundings and your close connections. United we stand, divided we fall. We will be a part of each other's lives until we part this lifetime. Oh, wow. Maybe that's what that tor Taurus is saying. And, uh, something about your deceased son is warning you to pay attention to your close surroundings and your inheritance that you might be receiving. Are you listening to this? I love you, son. I thank you, my Gemini son, and I wish they would see a true orb from you. I love you, and I hope you're showing something real good here soon. Some old, it says some old bald man is going to leave you an inheritance. It's what your deceased son is telling you. Are you listening? And, uh, uh, so, but they're envious of our connection, of our love for one another, so they will always try to split us up, divine masculine, divine feminine. So some, some old bald man, older man, is trying to mess with you and your person's connection, and they're saying, get up and get to it, money. Don't play with magic, because it can backfire. Are you listening? Somebody's played magic on you from past lives and they forged you into this life. Oh, uh, whoever's hubby, if you're a Libra, Leo, or Capricorn, pay attention. <coughs> or them is your partners. It's your hubby. Oh, your hubby's inheritance. Are you listening? And uh, your sister-in-law is always trying to outdo you or one-up you, but God sees all, and he will end all, too. Oh, they're envious of your connection. You're in your hubby's connection. And uh, if you all have an inheritance, which I don't know what they're thinking, but it's none of their fucking business, because uh, I know my sister-in-law got an inheritance also, and I didn't ask her for jack shit nothing. Did you remember that? I just had to throw it out to her. So, so you would see that was dumb and reckless. That would be reckless behavior, playing with this dark magic now. And somebody keeps lying intensely to you. It might be his sister or hubby or, oh, oh, oh it's a karmic girlfriend. Hubby, reckless karmic girlfriend. His hubby has a girlfriend on the side, whoever's listening to me. Uh, and, and this is resonating. And you, you persevered even when you was in the dark in your journey. You did. And no, thank you. I don't want any of your karma drama. That's what you're saying. Oh, and this hubby and his karmic girlfriend's been condemning you to hell like. Fuck them. If I knew it was something like that, I'd condemn them motherfuckers straight to hell. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Karmic girlfriend whore. You're not going to get my hubby's inheritance if something happens. I don't give a fuck how far you fart him. I've been married to him, motherfucker. And my son's telling you he's going to end up hurting you bad. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. I read it for some boy out here. Didn't need it to hear this. I don't know. I don't know who this is, you all. I just have to do it like that sometimes. So please hit subscribe like. I love you. Uh, you're saying awaken. You better wake up. All this man's money goes for whores and cocaine. See, he ain't got a damn pot to piss in. Ha <laughs> ha, there you go, karmic. <laughs> they ain't worthy of an inheritance. And that inheritance can be your spiritual inheritance. And your son said they ain't getting it. And you've always been there throughout many lifetimes fighting to keep our love strong. Leo, I got a brother that died. Leo, 29, 29, 11, 11, my twin flame, I love you. So I got some Leo twin flame. Rawr. They love to show their big maid to you. The rawr, you're lying. That's what it is. It says if you push me to the limit, I just might jump now, son of a bitch. Where's all my apologies? Do you love to start everything I do? Yeah, it's this person that keeps lying on you. They're reckless. We don't want their karma drama. You ain't pushing me, motherfuckers. 
I got up and got to it, buddy. What's all my apologies? Quit condemning with me. <sighs> Fucking buying whores off the street with karmic whores with old husbands out here. It ain't worthy of a good fucking woman's time. That's what you just see son of said. Now you better pay the damn fuck attention. United we stand divided we fall by God. What about these past lives? We're going to be a part of each other's lives until we part this lifetime. This is our inheritance. Are you listening? Awaken please. You persevered even when you was in it even in the dark night of the soul in your journey. Listen to me. They're envious of our connection and our love for one another. And they'll always try to split us up, Divine Masculines, Divine Feminines, and your sister or sister-in-law. They was trying to play with magic from the get-go. And magic will backfire, idiots. And it's backfiring to this old bald man. Some old, old guy. And remember, I hope that helps somebody, you all. 3111, I love you. I'm going to get off here. My back hurts. Please help me, you guys. I thank you. I love you. Peace. Help. Get it around to new people, ever how you do that. Please help me. This is all I ever do on is this. Peace.